Every class is in a package. Now you've seen the full class names, including the package names, usually on import statements in programs. For example, the full package name of the rectangle class is java.awt.rectangle. This is because the rectangle class is a member of the Java AWT package. You can declare a class as being in a package with a statement at the top of the source file like this or you can let the directories do it. If you don't declare the package name, the class or classes in the file will become members of the unnamed package and the sub-package name will be the same as the name of the directory. There's no way to address the unnamed package from other locations, so it's best to specify the package name if you want to be able to use your class elsewhere. Packages can have sub-packages and sub-sub-packages, and you can take this to any depth you'd like. For example, there are a number of classes defined as being in the Java AWT event package. Now, there is no significance to this name other than the location of the files, that is, the classes in Java AWT event have no relationship to the ones in Java AWT. The only naming restriction on a class or interface is that the name must be unique within its package. If you specify the package name of a class, you need to put the files in a directory by that same name or by that same path name. If you change the package name, you'll need to change the name of the directories to match it. You can come up with a unique package name by using your domain name in reverse. For example, say you have the domain name example.com. You could use it as it is, or you could come up with a name for your package, like Java Set. Then the package name declaration for your classes would look like this. If you had a class named date as one of your classes, it could be addressed from other classes with an import statement like this. If you look in the classes that are part of the standard distribution of Java, you'll see that some start with the name com. One other thing about naming. If you declare a class as public, it has to be in a file that has the same name as the class. This means that there can't be more than one public class in a file. You can have other classes in the same file, but they can't be public.